Good morning, everyone! Welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. In the last episode, we finished up... What did we finish up doing? I don't even remember what the fuck we did. I just know we're working on the twin path. We're doing some things. Doing some stuff and some things. We're pretty much... I, 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 uh, what, at what point in the story are we at right now? I'm trying to remember exactly what point in the story we are. Basically, Asa is amazing. She told us all about how her life is so poetic or something. Like, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm having a hard time recapping here. All I know is it's morning after something. Can we look at the log or something? I can't even go back. I can't do nothing. I should have went back and watched, like, the very end of last episode just so I knew what the hell was going on. Anyway, obviously I'm recording this after having, you know, a break from the last recording sesh. But anyway, regardless, it's time to continue the twin path. We're on our way. Which twin will we choose first? Well, only time will tell. But first, we gotta get to the part where the relationship stuff begins. We haven't even gotten to that yet. But we know that we're going after the twins. Alright. Anyway, it's morning. I opened my heavy eyelids and waited for my brain to fully awaken. I'm used to getting up early. When I was participating in road races, I used to train early in the morning. I got up, changed my clothes, and left my room. Sounds like a plan, dog. Huh? Hey. When I came down to the living room, I found Asachan preparing the breakfast that I was supposed to make. What the fuck? Huh? Why are you... Bitch! That was my job! I was gonna cook that shit! Oh well. Less work for me. I see. Well, uh, thanks, Asachan. I... Why don't you just cook it all? I'll just go take a nap. Fuck it. Leeks need to be cut to a suitable size. Can you do that? A few days have passed. Asachan had made a full recovery and was back to her cheerful self. Oh, that's right. She was all depressed, and then we, like, talked her into coming back home because she went out, like, in the middle of the night just to go do some thing, and then we had a long conversation about her, like, why she feels not adequate with her life. But anyway, back to her cheerful self. Cheerful self, that's good. The fact that she got depressed, uh, so depressed back then seemed like a lie. Uh? Huh? Uh, why not? The main dish for today's breakfast was Mabo Mabo Tofu. Was it too spicy to eat in the morning? Hmm. I still don't have a knack for this. But tofu's healthy. Maybe it doesn't matter. So many misos! Asachan said while she was looking at a large variety of Chinese miso flavors. I think this is true for most foods, but for Mabo Tofu, there's an especially large difference in flavor between instant ones and the ones you make from scratch. No matter how rarely I used each one, I had a good selection of seasonings for Chinese dishes like Mabo Tofu. Moreover, all of them have different flavors. Mastering their usage is the secret of the chi to Chinese-style cooking. Oh, Asachan was impressed. Asachan? Ah, shit, dude. She cut her finger. Oh, no. Oh, my. Uh, show me. It's not deep, but we should apply a band-aid on it. Well, wait a second. I got a band-aid from the first aid kit. <sighs> eh, it's fine. We all fall. Mistakes happen all the time. Show me your finger again. I took hold of Azachan's finger and put it in my mouth. What the fuck? Bruh. Inappropriate. <laughs> Dude. Really? Huh? <laughs> I guess so. I've always cleaned cuts like this, so I just did it without thinking. I stopped sucking on Azachan's finger, but I didn't want to. That's right, I don't think I've ever done that for a girl. <laughs> Dude, you just sucked on her finger. I think you might as well just go to, like, third base right now. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, here. I gave Asachan the band-aid. 
She wrapped it carefully around the cut. Be careful. If you press with that finger, it'll hurt. Don't get depressed when you fail. Just try again. Well, that's good. Really? Well, like what? Yeah? What's the matter? <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Nothing my ass. After school, we started going to the soaring club. Who invited you? Today, today Kanako san was coming with us. But why? She caught us at the school gate and said that she wanted to tag along. Will you help us out today? She just wants to see something else get stiff. Just saying. Ah, I, I see. Thanks. Asachan bowed her head deeply. The stiffening agent was the thing that Asachan forgot to order by mistake the other day. But why? Whatever. Yorchan wasn't a soaring club member, so it shouldn't be strange if she wasn't here, but recently she'd been coming every day. That's why it was actually weird when she was absent. Oh, okay. Fair enough. If she wanted to go to Wendy, she could have told us beforehand. I'm planning to go there too. I want to stop at the bookstore. More importantly, I have to go pick up the stiffening agent from Anchan. Nah, I'll go there quickly by myself, so you all can go straight to the dock. You can prepare everything. I wanted to stop at the bookstore. I should easily manage to carry the supplies by myself anyway. It came in an e it came in an 18 liter drum though, so it could be a little heavy. Alrighty then. Then let's go hang out with Yoruchan. That's totally what's about to happen right now. Anyway, with that, I left the others and headed to the workshop. What a Thanks for helping out all the time, Anchan. After getting the stiffening agent and thanking Anchan one more time, I went to Wendy. Ah, yeah. I wasn't planning to buy much, just one magazine. Hey, wait a second. Wouldn't it have been a lot easier to pick up the book before meeting with Anchan and getting the heavy baggage? Really, Owie? You just fucking logic that out? Uh, too late. I headed to the exit while mumbling to myself. Okay, I had to hurry back to the dock where everyone was waiting. Hmm? Mm. There she is. I knew it! Huh? Yoruchan? What is she doing? だから言ってるじゃない。私は行かないってば。だから興味とかじゃないの。今後の体育祭なんかの行事のために時間のあるクラスの女子で結束を固める。そう決めたの。だから風戸さんの時間があるなら。You don't want to go karaoke? Karaoke's fun as shit! Don't you hear all the songs I sing when I play games? It's ridiculous. <sighs> I saw Yorochan surrounded by other girls in a cafe in Windy. Those girls seemed somewhat familiar. I think they were Yorochan's classmates. Everyone will be troubled! Everyone! Alright, stop yawning, boy. But what if she doesn't want to? <laughs> I'll pass, bitches. Damn. No meaningless waste of time here, bitches. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with doing point not not wanting to do pointless things? I am down for that. If she doesn't find any pleasure in having fun, then fuck it, okay? Just walk away. 
It seemed like a quarrel. Butting in didn't seem like a good idea, so I decided to just keep watching for the time being. I couldn't just ignore it and walk away at this point. Okay. Wow, she said a lot of words really fast. Dude, these girls are getting wrecked right now. But these girls mean well. But she's wrecking the shit out of them. She's like, bitch, I don't want to be your friend. We ain't gonna be friends after this, so go be your own friend. <laughs> With that, Yoruchan tried to leave. Uh oh. But one of the girls blocked her way. What does this have to do with anything? Oh. oh, that's why they're mad. They mad because the guys don't like them. They like Yoru. Sorry. Bitch, why is Yoru responsible for that? Why is... Don't drag Yoru into your drama. Just because you like a dude, he don't like you back. And then she likes... He likes the other girl, but the girl don't like him back. And then they want to try and be friends with each other. Like, how's that gonna... How is that... Girl logic, dude. Girl logic. Gotta love it. How about you don't? <laughs> How about you just walk away? <laughs> it's not that I don't understand. It's that I don't give a fuck. Okay? Do you understand that? <laughs> Never invite me again, bitches. <laughs> I love it. Uh-oh. The girl tried to grab Yoruchan. Wait a second, and this is where the gallant knight of Aoi intervenes. I interrupted them. The girl had a bewildered expression. That's understandable. I was a complete stranger with her, to her, and I might choke her to death, and she doesn't even know who I am. Uh, uh, I'm Kazato-san Senpai from the Soaring Club, Menase Aoi. Nice to meet you. The girls were looking at us blankly. They were probably surprised to hear that Yorochan was in some club. To be honest, the Soaring Club has some very important activities today. Of course we'll be needing Yorochan's help too. <laughs> Yorochan tried to object, but I covered her mouth like, Bitch, I'm trying to get you out of this. Shut up! The Soaring Club has been really busy lately, so she probably hasn't had much time to hang out with you. But please try to understand, okay? And that's how it is. Sorry, but I'll be taking her with me now. Bye! I grabbed Yorochan's hand before the girl's dumbfounded glances. Then... Oh, oh, and she's not such a bad girl. She just comes across that way sometimes. Uh, don't mind it. I left with them with those words and headed for the exit from Wendy. Did you get your magazine, though, dude? She does not look happy. Well, you seem to be in trouble, so I came to help you. Yorichan made an annoyed face and turned away from me. Oh, you're a member. Remember when we threw you off the cliff? You're a member now, bitch. I thought that'd be the easiest way to make them leave you alone. God damn it, Yoru. Calm your tits. You're in the club whether you like it or not. <laughs> At any rate, I'll have to do something about it. I'll have to join the club for real or something. Ugh. Uh, she has a point. Those girls might keep pursuing the topic of the soaring club. Yeah. You can, you can go along with it because you fucking basically are part of the club whether you like to admit that you're, you're like labels or whatever, you know? You're in the fucking club whether you li like the label or not. You know, how about actually joining already? It seems that she doesn't want to join after all. Even though nothing bad would happen if she did. 
and she totally already helps as much as anyone who'd be in the club is anyways. Also, I don't know what words just came out of my mouth. Yeah, dude. Knight in shining armor came to your rescue. I thought you were angry. <laughs> as long as they're only trying and they don't actually help me, it's fine. So, you think I'm annoying? <laughs> Yuruchan dodged my question with a sadistic expression and those eyes. If she thought about me like that, it would be slightly depressing. Yeah, what's, what's, what's wrong with that? Riri? And that's a commendable quality that you don't appreciate yet, but you will. But I was worried. That might be true. I wasn't aware of that until she told me. I mean, it certainly would be the easier option. That would be heartless. There's no way I could ignore my cute junior in trouble. Uh... What do you mean you don't understand? He's trying to soften your 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 image from other people's perspectives. Like, nah, she's not so bad, see? Well, you're not a bad girl after all. I, I thought it'd be this, a shame if people saw you that way. I think you don't deserve this. It'd be unfair. You're cute and a good girl. <laughs> you call me cute one more time. <laughs> don't get so angry. Your face got bright red. Dang. Wear your truth on your sleeve much? Uh, I, oh. oh, I see. When I brought, thought back on what I'd said, it was pretty embarrassing. Huh. Oh, she said, huh. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't see much sense in having fun. I just mentioned that because that's why she didn't want to go hang out with the other girls. Fun seems pointless to her. But maybe one day she will understand the concept of fun. I mean, even Amane started getting that. You know what I mean? You don't get money. You don't get a higher test score. What's the point? You think the club activities that don't give you solid results are meaningless? I mean, your sister does it. Is that why you follow her around? Fucking, she's your test subject to learn more about the fucking reason why people do these things? That was a difficult question. I think I had some trouble answering similar questions about road racing. It's hard to explain the value of something that doesn't give you any visible profits to people who see activities like those as absolutely worthless. But if I were to answer, I guess I just fell in love with the sky. It's so big and vast, and yet, it feels like I can reach it. I answered the same way I'd answered Asachan before. I don't fully understand my reasons. I just thought of wanting to fly through the sky. That's all. That's why I didn't wish for any rewards for flying. <laughs> Why? Well, aren't you just boring? I see. Yorichan looked up at the lined up windmills as she spoke. I can teach you to be an obedient windmill. 
You just gotta, you gotta want it. Huh? That's funny that you say that because she like compared herself to the windmill, didn't she? Something like that, right? Those sisters really get along well. That's what I thought. They had completely different ways of thinking, different likes and dislikes, but they loved each other despite that. That shows how well they get along. It'd be great if you acted like this in front of your other friends as well. That is, this is a tough case. Uh? Very self-aware. Very. I don't think so, though. Well, I do think it's a waste and that it must be lonely. But as someone who does nothing but follow my dreams, I actually find your beliefs and way of thinking pretty cute. I think you're actually both cute and cute. Dude, he threw cute in every fucking compliment. You get it. We get it. You think they're cute, goddammit. She was a bit conceited, though. But I think that in reality, she was working very hard and was a very diligent sister. <laughs> Die! Huh? Uh, oh, why'd you get so mad? <laughs> ah! Apparently I did it again. <laughs> I'm sorry for being such an embarrassing senpai. Oh, dang. She's down. She's down to help because her sister fucked up. Let's go. I kept apologizing as we were going to the dock. Alright, let's get her done. Sorry for the wait! <laughs> Sorry, I ran into your chan on the way. Nothing! I mean, I didn't suck on her finger or anything, so it can't be that. Ken got that weird. <laughs> Do you have a fever? <laughs> I was worried too, but when I said that Yorochan got mad. <laughs> Could it be? Dun 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 dun! ちゃん。え今日 ただちょっと困ったことがあって、青井先輩が助けてくれたというか、おせっかいされたというか。何があったってことじゃないそれ。どんなことがあったの？本当に大したことないわよ。クラスメイトもあんまりうるさく呼び出すから言ってみたら、
One in a million chance. Here we go. Don't do it to her. So she said she wouldn't do anything, but she'd also say, Fuck that senpai. You totally can choose who you love. If you think you can't choose who you love, you crazy. Now you're lying to my face. Stop lying to my face. いいから、とにかく今のは違うから、違う。え? Could be. Oh, the sisters are at odds. Whatever shall they do? I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I am giddy with anticipation, but also incredibly antsy for all the wrong reasons. But anyway, birds that fly in the sky can't possibly understand the feelings of humans who crawl on the ground. Ever since I was small, my friends have been jealous of me that I was born in such a big, rich family. At times, they even showed some ill will for no reason and looked at me with mean eyes. In my eyes, there was nothing good about a family like that. I love my parents and my sister and my grandfather and everyone, but... So lonely, so lonely. The Gazato family is a lineage of splendid rich people who have built that fortune with their genius. They weren't like those talentless, filthy rich people who you can often find in books. It was more like an extraordinary lineage of heroes from Hollywood movies. That's why I was so miserable. I wasn't extraordinary at all. I was absolutely pathetic. Uh-huh. I was hurt by my aunt's thoughtless remarks. Oh, don't even say that shit, bruh. I was really hurt by my aunt's thoughtless remarks. <laughs> and hurt again by my own forced smile. But I was a little relieved to know that at least one person in the family had less grace than I did. And I was hurt even further by the fact that I had these kinds of thoughts. Because your aunt was a bitch. No matter how hard I tried, how hard I studied, I remained just average. So I stopped trying so hard. When I was still a child, I decided that I will never be able to win with the un with unbeatable people. Blah, blah. I will never be able to win with unbeatable people. Not with my gorgeous, brilliant parents and with my sister. Why was a person like me even born into such a splendid family? I would fit much better into a normal family, not as the daughter of a famous scientist or the granddaughter of the school's chairman. I was suffocating. The older I got and the bigger my body grew, the more air I needed to survive. Breathing was getting harder and harder. Damn, dude. Depression? Depre de fucking emo kid? Dude, she got If she doesn't. She should be the emo twin. That'd be awesome. I mean, she kind of is with her poetry and stuff, but, like, actually look all emo. Like, go black hair, fucking do the do the eyeliner, all dark and shit. Go straight emo mode. Anyway, whatever. That's why I was using this place my grandfather had lent me to catch my breath. To gather my thoughts and console myself. 
choosing a suitable time, Yuruchan joined me. What do you mean, Nuzzle wasn't fun? Since when did you have fun? Piano, tea ceremony, horseback riding, ballet. Couldn't do any of them well, so I quit them all. I wanted to find a hobby that Yorochan couldn't beat me at, something that she wouldn't even be interested in. A hobby, a world for myself. That's why I was yearning for the sky, and I wanted to reach it for as long as I can remember. And Yorochan still wholeheartedly believed in someone like me. I was jealous of Yoruchan, but she was dear to me. If Yoruchan really fell in love with Aoi Senpai, then why did I fall in love too? Birds that fly in the sky can't possibly understand the feelings of humans who crawl on the ground. Because birds have wings. And this bitch, right here, this bitch, wanna fly. Anyway, despite the trouble along the way, with Kanako-san and Yoruchan helping out, we managed to get back on schedule with the glider reconstruction. In fact, we've been getting a bit ahead of schedule again. Everything started going smoothly again. That's what we thought. Oh boy. Asa-chan? You've been lost in thought a lot lately. Is there something worrying you? However, Asa-chan was acting a little odd again. She didn't seem particularly gloomy or depressed. I just felt that there was something on her mind. That's how it seemed to me, at least. Are you okay? <laughs> it would be okay if that was the case, but... Uh-huh. So you think so too, Kanako-san? Apparently it wasn't just me. Oh, it's per it's puberty, right? It's a little more than that, though. <sighs> she seems rather a delicate. What? Are you trying to say that you're delicate? Bitch, you be walking around in your goddamn undies, okay? <laughs> Just look at her. She's trying so hard. Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> it may be good, but it's weird as shit! I mean, it's true. It's fucking true. Does it matter? Your chan just decided to help us out, that's all. <laughs> Got her with the bird move, dumb bird. <laughs> bird brain. I love that she calls her bird brain. It's so it's sunny and felt. It's so always so in Philadelphia to me. Fucking bird. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not sure if they are very compatible or polar opposites. Really? Yep, they're both going through some changes, alright. Kanako san was getting along well with the twins and is a girl too, so she might understand them better than I did. But honestly. Yorichan, uh, can I help you? Aww, oh, I wanted to help. It seemed that she was avoiding me. 
Ro ちゃんに何か嫌われるようなことした No, I don't remember anything like that. セクハラとか。Hmm. Aoi kun? あんまり後輩に嫌われるようなことしちゃダメだよ。Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear that from you, bird brain. Dun dun dun. Both of the twins be loving on the Aoi. After we were done with club activities and I was back at the dorm, I started getting ready for the next day. A typhoon was expected tomorrow evening, so I had to prepare for that. I brought in the flower pots and stuff from outside and put them away in a safe place. Did I do something to make Eurotron hate me? I can't think of anything like that. But now that I thought about it, lately Asachan seemed to be avoiding me a bit too. She used to be assertive by asking to help with cooking and such, but she stopped doing that. What the? Who be hugging on me? Oh god. Naked lady, I told you. Ah! Bitch, why are you hugging up on me? Not that I don't enjoy it, but what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> it's just you, Kanako san. No, I mean, what the fuck are you doing? When I looked back, I saw Kanako san in her underwear. Please don't cling to me so suddenly. It's bad for my heart, okay? I only screamed your name as I gave you a big ass hug from behind. Anyway, don't cling to me, and please wear some clothes. Why are you in your underwear to begin with? It was still before dinner, so she shouldn't have gotten out of the bath. Because it's hot. Please stop walking around in your underwear just because it's hot. I'm a guy, okay? I only love it, and that's bad. Oh, oh, she's trying to attract, see? Fucking hoe. Could you please cut it out with the sexual harassment? It's a real pain! I'll help you squeeze out some tartar sauce. <laughs> I was not expecting that to be the next line. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking ridiculous. So ridiculous. <laughs> Why did that one get me? I just wasn't expecting it. So unexpected. What the hell? What a hoe, dude. What a hoe. She wants the D way too hard right now. Why are you trying to strip me? Is she a dirty old man or what? <laughs> so you were teasing me after all. <laughs> no, I already did that. Huh? Yes. A man should always know a no, like sense a half-naked lady when he's when she's that near. You should just know, like, I smell a, I sense a disturbance in the force. There must be whores abound. There's one now. <laughs> uh, uh, san was unexpectedly observant. How had she guessed? It kind of seems like they came to hate me and are ignoring me. I was wondering if I really did something to make them hate me, unintentionally, without realizing it. I think you mean thick scold, but yeah, thick skin. You don't want to know about my thickness. Uh, really? <laughs> you served Mabo tofu for breakfast, you fool! Ah. Uh, yeah, I still make mistakes like that. I do it much less often than I used to, but I still serve overly hearty meals for breakfast sometimes. I thought that Mabo tofu was pretty healthy, or was healthy though. Is that so? Yeah, they're having their own little spat with each other. And it's over Aoi! I never really care what people say. All I really watch what Yoru do. She used to stick to Asa like glue, and now she don't do that no more. Now that you mention it, Yoru-chan hadn't been so clinging with Asa-chan lately, and Asa-chan also seemed a little less concerned with Yoru-chan. I mean, you're not wrong. That's true, but they won't tell me. That's why I'm worried. Actually. 
I had already tried to talk to Ossetron several times. I wanted to know if there was something bothering her and what it was. But every time she only shook her head and insisted that it was nothing. It sure didn't look like nothing, though. They don't want to tell nobody. So it's no good. As I thought, Kanako-san had also tried to talk to them. I don't know if I should be thinking like this, but this fact made me happy for some reason. Yeah... I'm sure that if they wanted to talk, they'd come and say something themselves. I guess I should wait for that moment. And what would that be? <laughs> oh boy. Kanako-san flashed a somewhat wicked smile, and then she flashed something else, and then she left the living room. Whoa, dude. If you want to pitch in and help... Wait, sorry. Never mind. That's not what the pi You know what? See you later, Kanako. What was she up to? Pitch in and help. <sighs> Squeeze out that tartar sauce? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, anyway. Ever since that day. Everything's so awkward. <laughs> I don't really remember, but sure, it's delicious. なんだろう、この変な感覚。一度こうなってから元に戻る私は別に青井先輩や姉さんと話しにくい理由なんて私でも気づいてないことがあ、私はもしかして違う、そんなことない。とにかく今は姉さんよ。姉さんと元に戻りたいのに、なんだかよくわからないまま気まずくなっち
朝ちゃんと夜ちゃんが入れ替われば朝ちゃんと夜ちゃんは話すことになるでしょうみんなを騙せばそれを種明かししたときにそれについてみんなと話すことになっちゃう当然葵くんともねそれは確かにっていうのはどうかななんか二人とも元気がなさそうだったから私が考えた盛り上げアイデアなんだけどほら楽しいことしてると悩みなんて吹っ飛んじゃうかもしれないしというか以前からやってみてほしくて仕方なかったの二人の入れ替わり本音はそれですか<笑>、うんうん、楽しさ半分おせっかい半分おお Yoru is already in. She's like, that does sound fun. I like tricking people. It's my favorite. ヨルちゃんと入れ替わっていれば先輩がヨルちゃんにどうしてしているかわかるってどうして私がこんなこと知りたいって思っちゃうようになってるの Cause you love him ヨルちゃんはどうかな姉さんが賛同してるなら断る必要はないこのギクシャクした感じいやこういうバカらしいことも一つでもやれば元に戻れるかもねそれに懐かしいしこういうの Is this something that they used to do when they were younger? I would hope so Seems like a fun Like if I had an identical twin dude This would be a fun thing to do やりますおそれじゃあ失敗してもいいから聞いてみたい最近私はそう考えるようになったから So it's been on my mind Time for a twin switch up Let's go It's breakfast time Let's do that Yes. Two of them were still a little distant, and today these also seemed strangely restless. Yes. Like what? <laughs> what was that? Yorichan seemed angry for some reason. <laughs> and Kanako's like, yes, the plan is working flawlessly. Why are you laughing, Kanako-san? I have a feeling that you're up to something. That was a suspicious laugh. You're gonna blow their cover, you dumb-dumb. God, you're horrible at this. Get out of here. That reminds me. Kanako-san, that thing you were talking about yesterday, how did it go? I remember that she said she was gonna do something with Ferasa-chan and Yoru-chan last night. She definitely was up to something. Little, little member, little senpai has to be Yoru who does it, which is in this case is Asa. You're supposed to argue with her, duh. What is it, Katori? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, why? Normally she'd throw the soy sauce at my bird brain! It's just passing the soy sauce. It's normal. Just how much does Yorichan normally hate you? Asa-chan, can you hand me the tissues, please? Yeah, thanks. Why did she say that so loudly? You're bad at this. You're all bad at this. God, get better at deceiving people, won't you? <laughs> the thrill. The thrill. It's all gone. As we were walking back from school, Kanako san suddenly said this. Huh? What do you mean? Don't be, don't be playing. She said and gazed at Asa-chan and Yoru-chan. Is it something related to that talk from yesterday? 
Kanako-san dodged the question. Also, today she was coming to our club activities. いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。いいですね。
Wait, huh? Yoruchan wanted to come? Yeah, it's a problem. You've never said those words in that string in that order in your life. Uh yeah, come along then. Hearing something like this from Yoruchan was very strange. But if there's two of us, we could buy some other things while we were at it, since it would be easy to carry them. Oh, oh. <laughs> hmm, something felt odd after all. To think that Yoruchan would volunteer to go shopping? Normally she definitely wouldn't do something like this. Just what was she up to? Aren't you acting a little strange? Well, maybe it's just my imagination. Man, you're horrible at being a liar. Hmm, if she said this herself, I guess it's true, right? Hmm, we may as well go to the supermarket and get some cheap ones. There's one nearby. Must have been my imagination after all. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, quite a lot. After all, it's been a year. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, what a coincidence. A whole year has passed since then, huh? I saw Asuchan buying ingredients for curry at the supermarket. Next day, I also saw Yoruchan. That reminds me, you like Sukumin, right? Mm -hmm. If I remember right, the first time we met, you said you liked it. Yeah. Huh? Yoruchan's yeah. words weren't quite cl quite clear. Yes, I am. So I was right. I was wondering if I didn't mix something up. <laughs> Let's start explaining stuff about Nissan and ignore all of my loves. <laughs> huh. I guess your preferences are a little more feminine. Well, you know, girls are known for liking sweets and meat. It might just be a stereotype, but still. Yoruchan? <laughs> I'm just happy you called me feminine. <laughs> uh, I see. But wow, you two really like completely different things. We talked about that once before. They looked so much alike, but their ways of thinking were exactly opposite. How about neither? Oh, it's surprising to hear that you were fighting. They just had full-on trials of whether or not it was better to eat bamboo or mushrooms, that's all. Yeah, dude. Sega or Nintendo? Shh, come on, kids. Nintendo all day, every day. Yeah, that's true. I know what you're talking about. Even adults do that sometimes. Sometimes? All the time. Hmm. Relieved? You or Sean stopped talking for a moment. Then after thinking about something for a moment... Uh, okay. Hmm... Suspicious. We bought the garbage bags and headed back towards the dock. We also bought some juice and paper cups, so our bags were pretty heavy. I couldn't make Yorichan carry too much, so I gave her the garbage bags and paper cups and carried the bags with the juice bottles myself. Hmm, it was on my mind while we were shopping. Something was off after all. I got the impression that the person in front of me wasn't really Yoruchan. Say, Yoruchan, today you seem somehow. Uh, 
Yes? As I started asking, Yorichan interrupted me with her own question. Uh? How did I feel? What kind of question is that? Why all of a sudden? Why do you ask? Because I want to know! Want to know. Was she just curious? It was embarrassing, but it wouldn't really hurt me to answer. I think you're honest and cool, Yorochan, and really amazing. It seems like you could do anything. You're smart, and you know what you want, and well, sometimes you're really cute. I think you're a great girl. Even though I told this my told this myself, I must admit it sounded extremely embarrassing. Well, that's the result of answering honestly, so I guess it can't be helped. But really, why was she asking that? Could it be? Nah, definitely not. But I just imagined something rather naive. But was it just me being overly self-conscious, right? If I were so arrogant, it would it would be really embarrassing to think back on it later. Asachan? Asachan, huh? She's a hard worker, but also a bit of a worrywart. She made me feel like I couldn't leave her alone. Like a little sister, I guess? Yeah, she's cute, and when she's worried about something I instinctively want to look after, her. a girl like a little sister. That's how I think of her, I guess. Huh? A little sister and a girl. Uh, huh? Woman? Little sister? And why'd she say that she's the little sister? The one in front of me was Yoruchan, right? Uh oh. Yorotron suddenly pulled me and brought her face close to mine. Huh? But aren't you Yorotron? Ah! <laughs> Did she just pull it in for a kiss? What? And then she pressed her lips against mine. Uh, huh? What? Why she? Why did she? She? <laughs> our lips parted and she stepped back. And then? For some reason, she seemed shocked by her own action. <laughs> then she broke into a run and dashed far away. Uh, huh? What? Why did she? I couldn't comprehend what had just happened and just stood there stock still for a moment. The only thing I knew is that it wasn't Yoruchan. It was Asachan. You knew it! The whole time! The whole t The whole time! Well, they just wanted to play a dirty trick and they failed.